Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jonathan here with another Twin Motion video, and it's a very exciting day. We've got another huge release of Twin Motion just come out recently. Twin Motion 25.1.1. Now the big new headline features here you can see in the video already are the amazing new graphs. 3D graphs is something that is really difficult to achieve with much of the software and Twin Motion have just nailed it. So I'm going to show you how that works in more detail. We've also got some really other cool features like enhanced frame rates using DLS and also some really super duper features that I'd like to tunnel into in future videos. One of my huge new favorites is configurations now work in the Twinmotion cloud. And this, of course, is something that we've been crying out for. Now, this does mean that you do have to have a full license of Twinmotion, not the free version, but well worth it so you can share your projects and files with people all over the universe. So let's take a look at these features in a bit more detail. So if you do go to the Twinmotion news page, you can see all these bonus features and find out a bit more about them. There's some really nice screenshots as well. But what I like to do is dig a bit deeper and just kind of go through one of the big new features for you in today's video, which of course is this amazing new 3D grass. Now, having tried this out on my own, I'm super impressed by how this looks. So we'll drill into that in a moment. But in the meantime, let's just refocus back on the configurations. As I said, these now feature in the Twinmotion cloud so that you can view these and share them with your customers and clients on your iPad or your phone or any device you like, just with a web link. I think this is a killer feature for Twinmotion and it just means all your hard work on your 3D modeling and visualization can now be just shared very interactively using a sort of really immersive environment. Really nice features like the new enhanced DLSS also make for much improved frame rates and there's also, of course, much, much more. Now, if you do want to go deeper, just dig into the actual release notes themselves. Here you're going to find um, a bit more information and detail about things like the 3D grass and also, you know, some of the current limitations as well, just so you really understand what that's all about in detail. So let's jump into having a look at a tutorial using the new grass and let me give you my feelings and viewpoints on how this new grass will absolutely blow your projects away and show your clients how amazing the natural environment can look. Okay, so here we are with the wonderful Lake House Retreat, which is a really nice tutorial file that you get with you Get Twin Motion. You can have a play with, and you can see that I've just turned it off the existing painted vegetation. I'm gonna go over to my materials tab, and here you will see the wonderful new 3D grass icon. Only really one icon there, but don't worry, there's lots of configurations we'll talk about. And with a simple drag and drop, millions of polygons of wonderful, beautiful grass will appear. So you can see that I can essentially just drag and drop once again. And the generation of this is very, very fast. It really took me by surprise how rapid this was. And one of the best things is we've got these wonderful five different types of variations of grass and then a fairly infinite number of settings that we can play around with to vary that grass in between as well. And all of these can be saved in your user library. So I really like the detail in the grass. Um, let's just run through, you know, how you can also turn on the painted vegetation and combine the two things for an even kind of broader look. You know, this means that you can do things like mix in flowers and rocks and to maybe, maybe some other things into the grass as well, just to create up the variation. Now, there's no way to uh, delete the grass in certain areas like you can with painted vegetation. So do watch out and just make sure that you maybe create some different materials where you want to kind of limit the grass to be applied. Okay, so that was something that I'd learn, you know, on this particular ele element here. Now, let's look at this once again in a slightly different viewpoint. Another really good thing about the new 3D grass is the speed. You'll notice that basically uh, the painted vegetation can slow twin motion down a bit for good reason. You know, it's beautiful, but very detailed. But however, the new 3D grass really dramatically speeds up your frame rates. So I'm just kind of like searching for that perfect view. You know, this is one of the benefits of real-time rendering. The ability to, like a photographer, just move around your scene and just sort of keep changing and just adapting that view. You know, maybe customize the field of view and so on. Okay, so I've done a little kind of create view to create and record that view there. And what we're going to do is compare path tracing and lumen using the new 3D grass. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead in my painter vegetation and delete some of the grass that was already there. So all of the grass that you now see is grass from the new 3D grass at Twin Motion section. But here's that nice little tip I was talking about earlier. If you combine that with the uh, scatter or the painted vegetation, you could introduce things like some nice flowers um, and then sort of increase or decrease the density of those just to kind of create some more variety, you know, with the grass itself doing the bulk of the work and then the painted vegetation really just focusing on a bit of variety and things like the flowers as well on top. So I think you'll agree this is, you know, looking really great for real time already. And let's go down to pick our texture. Here's one of the things I really love, uh, the fact that you can basically click onto tint, bring up your color picker, and now you can see it's very, very straightforward to adapt and edit the two sort of colors that mingle together within that grass. There's also a really nice little slider for color variation where you can kind of introduce a bit more color variation so the grass doesn't look too one color, as it you know rarely does in reality. So it's extremely nice. You will notice um, just very subtly it is waving around in the wind as well, this 3D grass, but there are settings when you can disable that if you like. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate the view. What I'm gonna do with this second one, of course, is render this one using path tracing, and this will allow us to compare the lumen render and the path trace render and see which looks better. Now, of course, Twin Motion has this path tracing, which does take a bit longer than the real-time lumen, but you know, there are situations where this is well worth it, things like reflections and the detail. And I think you'll agree, you know, this is a preview of that path trace render. It really does look great, and that real-time grass looks amazing. So I just want to kind of touch on another project, my Friday community project. Let's drag the grass into the scene. It's a massive scene with a huge amount of grass in the world and in no time at all, it just comes to life. So now I can basically go over to my panel, click to scale. Um, also, there is a very good random seed option that you can click if you just want to try random sort of settings for the grass. But already you can see it's beautifully detailed. I've got a bit of motion blur on here or depth of field rather, but this whole scene is absolutely astoundingly large and the grass just covered everything in no time at all. So a big time saver actually over the sort of painted vegetation. And as I said, I really like this new tip about using painted vegetation for the longer elements of grass or things like flowers and variation as well. Okay, so what we'll do, let's just let this render out as a path traced. Um, you can see that path tracing takes a little bit longer, of course, as you would expect. You know, Twin Motion is calculating the path of every single ray. And I can't imagine how this could possibly be quicker, apart from getting a even better graphics card than the one I have. It's pretty zippy. And here we go. Once that ring finishes, you've got an amazing image that's pretty much real time that you can basically demonstrate and show to your clients. So I really hope you've enjoyed this new little kind of environment tutorial, focusing mainly on the 3D grass, but I will be making lots of new tutorials, particularly on the configurations and that new cloud icon soon. Now don't forget, if you do want to get hold of a proper copy of Twin Motion, the full version with those configurations available and the cloud, just let me know. I'm a UK reseller for UK and Ireland for Twin Motion itself. And also I can provide expert twin motion training online all over the world, wherever you are. So thanks for watching everybody. It's been a fun video to make. I'm really excited about this amazing new feature. You know, who would have thought we could add billions of blades of grass in a single click to our amazing landscape models. So I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.